So when you're working around with ruler inside of Tinkercad, you can either work around with endpoint or midpoint. So in order to work around with that, I'm going to bring in a box just like this. And once I do that, I can click on ruler and then I can click over here. So I'm keeping it exactly onto this spot right here. So it's exactly uh, one, um, that it's exactly 10 meters apart. So if I were to click on this, you can see that it says it's 10 millimeters apart right here. So right now it's calculating from the endpoint. So it is taking around 10 uh, millimeters as its reference point right here. And it is taking this area as the reference point when calculating. That is because uh, this is sent to the endpoint mode. So if I were to go around and type in, let's say, for example, 20 right here, it is being pushed around onto the 20 point mark. If I were to click on this one, then what happens is that it uses the midpoint instead of the endpoint. So it is not using the endpoint right here, but it is using the exact center of the cube as the reference point. And now it says it's 30 points apart right here, while now over here it says it's 20 points apart. So it's perfectly according to how you want to use it, just like that. You can also go around onto the side and now it is using the midpoint as you can see. So it is using the midpoint right here. If I were to drag, the, drag it below, resize it right here, drag it down, you can see that it uses the midpoint just like this. So as I click on this one right here, it's using the endpoint that is the bottom of the cube. As soon as I use the midpoint, it's using the center as the reference point. And that is how you can work around with the ruler, endpoint, and midpoint mode inside of Tinkercad. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.